If you're building native mobile apps that access device features like GPS or accelerometer or, or contacts, then one of the things that can soon waste a lot of time is the constant compiling and deploying to your device, testing it out, and going through that cycle many times. And this is where the Ripple emulator comes in. It allows you to test everything out in your browser. So first thing to do is to go to ripple.tinyhippos.com, get Ripple. You'll need to be running Chrome for Ripple to run. Then once you've installed it, you'll see the Ripple icon in, the, in your browser here. Uh, make sure that this is enabled after you've got Application Craft running, or you'll see the whole of Application Craft trying to run inside the emulator, which you don't want. So get it started up, and then go to Enable. And now, if I go into Live Mode, you'll see that it actually runs it inside a browser. Sometimes you get errors. Just ignore the error, and often just reload. That's fine. And then it'll go fine. And here we are now running the emulator. And what you can see is we've got a variety of features in the emulator that we can control. So, for instance, what is the type of device, device orientation, accelerometer. I can collapse these panels. This is the device information. Uh, then on the right-hand side, we can emulate the device and network types. And I can switch it off. Um, and then we've got some geolocation information here and some other settings. So uh, it's also even possible to debug inside here because we're running in an ordinary browser we can use our normal debugging methods. So let's just try something out. Let's go to the accelerometer and here you can see we're updating getting the accelerometer pretty frequently. I can adjust if I want the angle of the accelerometer. I can even press the shake button and it's updating it. Or I can go to the GPS page, and here we can actually see the debugger working. I've got a debugger statement, which is going to fire up the debugger if I have it running. If I don't have it running, here you can see it's now going to get GPS data. There it is. If I go back now, and now I'm going to bring up my debugger. On Chrome, it's uh, on my Apple, it's Command-Alt-I. And... Let's go back here and you can see it's actually already triggered. And so I can debug my app even while it's inside the Ripple emulator. And shut that down. I can make changes to the latitude and longitude. And that's reflected here. And then will instantly be reflected in here as well. So that's the Ripple emulator.